for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. John Madden changed the foundation of football, teaching, coaching, and broadcasting the sport from the tip of a pen. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snoop the Mad Cheese, as always. The Madden 23 trailer dropped about 10 minutes ago. I've had a chance to watch it and break it down as much as I can. I'm going to try to break it down for you guys in this video. As always, though, if you guys want to see more videos like this as Madden 23 information drops, you want to see me make videos about it, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. John Madden changed the foundation of football, teaching, coaching, and broadcasting the sport from the tip of a pen. Now, the first segment of this video is obviously about their cover athlete, the person that created the game, the founder of the game, John Madden. There's a lot of information coming out that he's really going to be more present in this year's version of the game. Perhaps similarly to how he used to be when the game was, you know, in its infancy back in the 90s and early 2000s. All the games were brought. He was the voice of the broadcast booth, at the very least, over the gameplay. Uh, I've heard that they're going to be using some old recordings, uh, some old audio footage uh, from, you know, I don't know if it's from older games or just from when he was an announcer as a coach. I have heard that the beginning of the game, every year when you, you know, download the game or uh, buy a new game, when the game's, you know, processing, whatever, uh, you basically get to play like a mini game, which is essentially either an all-star game or you get to play uh, between two teams that went to like the Super Bowl the year before um, until the game's completely uploaded or downloaded or whatever. Uh, this year I hear that it's going to be something like uh, two All Madden teams playing and he might be broadcasting over the All Madden teams. Uh, if you guys don't remember, All Madden teams are basically like legends, um, you know, NFL legends on teams. That could be a really interesting uh, way to play it. I heard, I, I've even heard as far as rumors that they're going to go back to like 1970 LA Coliseum, which might have been where he won his Super Bowl. I'm not 100% sure about that. But the presence of Madden, of John Madden in this game, is going to be uh, ramped up significantly this year uh, based off of a lot of this is really around, um, you know, just basically honoring his legacy, especially when it comes to the game. Now, I stopped it here specifically because they make mention of him uh, basically changing the game with the tip of a pen, which is something that he essentially created or at least made, um, you know, much more prevalent in uh, NFL games using the Telestrator where he would draw all over the screen to basically highlight what he was specifically talking about. And the importance of this is represented a few times on uh, two of the three Madden covers. If you look at, there was three Madden covers released for the three different versions that are gonna come out. There's always, you know, different versions, uh, different tiers that you get more stuff. I think this one here is the main one, and you can see it shows that he's clearly using that same Telestrator uh, pen on the cover now if you go to one of the other versions here and i'm not sure if this is like i think this is like the mid-tier version i'm not really sure but once again you see the telestrator drawings all over the screen which really makes me think that at some point it's going to be integrated in the gameplay uh, but there really hasn't been enough information about that it really wouldn't surprise me if in between plays um, if they have something uh, with John Madden talking or drawing something up it's really hard to say because like I said there's no information out but there's got to be something to that because that is something that's really tied to his legacy as much as just about anything else is his use of that equipment the left goes to the right the right goes to the left to further his vision of sharing real football, we've created Field Sense. Now, probably the biggest piece of information to come out of this trailer was something that I uh, basically suggested in yesterday's video that Field Sense was essentially a combination of all the leaks that we pretty much already knew about, or at least if you've been paying attention. These are going to be new to a lot of people, this information, but if you've been paying attention to some of the leaks that have come out going back as far as April from Sports Gamers Online, this is essentially all those things uh, basically branded or packaged as what they're going to call Field Sense. I'll go over each individual thing as they come up so that you guys if you didn't catch any of those previous videos like ones that I've put out a lot of other YouTube creators put out you can get that information here now an all new gameplay system Field Sense changes the foundation of how you play by giving you more control all over the field control to put the ball where only your receiver can catch it now, this portion of the video talks about the new skill-based passing system that, like I said, people already knew about. There's already been photos out there. 
but it's edited in a way that's very choppy so that you really can't see how to perform these passing moves now i did stop and pause the video here slow it down to see a little bit better what we're looking at you can see here this looks like a meter that fills up similarly to how you shoot a, a free throw in nba 2k or something like that or even kick a field goal when the, the meter goes up and back because you can see in this one screenshot uh, it's not full and in the next screenshot it's 100 percent full meaning that you basically have to time the meter filling uh, to basically you know pass lead within this small circle here now pass leading is certainly nothing new to the game but ultimately having a visual to see um you know is going to be something that i think is, is probably worth worthwhile i don't know if it's really uh changing the game too much ultimately pass leading i don't feel like there's ever an instance where i pass lead now in man 22 or before that and i question how much it was led like this just really cuts down on the madden bs factor because you have more control over where the ball is going to end up but i don't know if it's necessarily going to revolutionize anything because it's something that you can already do this is just a visual for it now i could actually make the argument that this almost looks like you're getting less from your pass lead than you are in previous versions control to make explosive cuts next they talk about something that they call 360 cut degree cut control multi-directional 360 degree ultimate control all this stuff just sounds like buzzwords to me it sounds like something that they talk about every year how you have more control with the over the running back and stuff like that and it really doesn't change too much so I don't think that there's going to be a whole new way to control the running back or anything like that, but there might be like a new jump cut added or something, some sort of uh, running back move added to the game, but that's probably about it. This, time you put your foot in the ground. Control to break. this short animation here is basically just bringing back, um, you know, tackle battles, which is something that we already knew once again was come back into the game. It was in the game a couple years ago. Essentially, if you're playing the game and you're getting tackled, you can't fall asleep and just expect a tackle animation to play out. Like I said, this whole thing is all about less animations, more control. So ultimately, you have to be John on the spot, whether you're an offense or defense. If you think a tackle uh, is complete, you might be wrong because ultimately an icon might pop up. You might have to start spamming buttons to basically either complete the tackle or break free of the tackle. Loose with new mechanics. <laughs> This portion of the trailer really just seems like filler. I mean, it's sad. It's a one-minute trailer, and they still have so much filler in here that really seems like nothing. But a bunch of buzzwords and repackaged, uh, you know, old stuff. Now, they do say here, new wide receiver slash DB mechanics. They are really going to try to highlight how, um, you know, there's really more battles for balls that are going to happen this year, and it's going to be less animation driven which is something that we already knew about but if you slow this down you can see they basically just repeated the same thing field sense ea sports madden nfl 23 what the hell is that i mean that's so lazy none of that explains what wide receiver deep mechanics is so why is it under that like it's important can't cheat a speed be happy. field sense gives you the power to read react and hit everything now, midair knockouts aren't new, but they did say this year that it's really going to come down to more, uh, less animation driven catches and more uh, user controlled. Uh, battles for the ball. That's basically what they're going for here. It's going to be more about what you do as a DB or what you do as a receiver to come down with the ball, which I think is really cool. I mean, it's something nobody likes animations deciding outcomes of games, but if it's done in a way that like rocket catching comes back or aggressive catching becomes too overpowered it's something that's probably going to tick off a, a large portion of the madden community again just like it did when those things were more prevalent back like madden 15 16 maybe madden 25 so that's something to keep an eye on other than that you can see they just have some next gen stats underneath that once again no new information maybe they'll have more next gen stats in gameplay than they have already now but ultimately not a lot of new stuff in this at all with more now, hit everything is another buzzword that they're using quite a bit in this game. This is something that um, might be important when it comes to tackle battles because ultimately tackle battles has a new added function where essentially um, if you don't give up, you're way more susceptible to things like hit sticks, way more susceptible to things like uh, strip functions that could go on while you're in the middle of a tackle battle. So that's something to keep in mind. That might be what they're referring to here. As you can see, a lot of people just get knocked out left and right. Uh, and balls are flying and stuff like that. So that's something that they're probably referring to ultimately that's the end of the video if you guys want to see more video breakdowns like this in the future though hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below